Hi there, good morning. It is another cold day throughout the lower Great Lakes. Believe it or not, we are actually at the third coldest in the last 50 years. So if you're thinking it feels a little colder than normal, you would be correct. All right, well, here's something to warm you up. Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. Wouldn't you rather be there right now than dressing in 19 layers to go outside? I don't know if I'd rather be that guy, but <laughs> I think that would be a really fun festival to check out. Uh, one of our writers is actually there checking out the party and looks like a lot of fun. Mark, I know, <laughs> it's gonna be great. We're actually gonna hit a daytime high of two degrees for Friday. Now we've been talking about spring and we're actually about 15 days away. I know, it's amazing. You never thought it would get here, but it is going to show up eventually. And we do have our spring outlook. We've been talking about this and it was released last night. Apparently this is my first day on this set. It was released last night and uh, we have good news and we have bad news. The good news is that we are going to be about normal in terms of our precipitation uh, and we're going to be about normal in terms of our temperatures. Now we're going to have all the details coming up after nine o'clock. Chris Scott's going to be talking about it and he's going to give us all the nitty gritty good and bad news. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds right now. He's got an update on traffic. It was more than just an avalanche threat that shut down this highway in Montana. Six minor slides had been reported. The upside to extreme colds, it feels so good when it's over. And in Southern Ontario, the deep freeze is turning around. We'll tell you when. Your Southern Ontario forecast. Well, it is going to warm up. It's not going to be 10 degrees, but we're going to bump up to two by the end of the week. We're looking at minus six for tomorrow. We do have a little bit of snow on the way tonight and today and into tomorrow morning. We're looking at trace amounts from many areas, but up towards cottage country and through Barrie and Aurelia, we could see anywhere from two to five centimeters. So enough to make the roads pretty slick. By Thursday, we're minus four. Friday, that's when we warm up to two degrees. That's closer to where we should be for this time of year. But we do have the chance of a little bit of snow on the way Friday into Saturday. Go to the Good morning, it's Tuesday. It is the 4th of March. Our spring outlook was released last night at 9 o'clock. Chris Scott gave us all the details. Good news or bad news? Well, I think it's sort of, it's all right news. I it's mean, not bad. It's all right. I mean, it's, it's going to be sort of typical. Yep, average. Average, so... There you go. Well, he's spring, gonna... spring is definitely on the way. We can assure you of that. <laughs> that we do know. We know that for sure. <laughs> Kevin Yard is joining us in Kitchener this morning. And with our temperatures, Kevin, it certainly does not feel like spring, does it? Thanks, Kevin. And don't forget, this is the weekend. We spring forward, so we're actually going to see a little bit more daylight. Yes, we lose an hour of sleep, but sunshine longer. That's okay. Two to five centimeters of snow today and into tomorrow. We're looking at trace amounts, possibly a centimeter or two through the downtown core. But areas north of that, up towards Berrien and through Aurelia, we could pick up anywhere from two to five. So again, enough to make the roads a little greasy. Speaking of greasy roads, Tom, how are we faring this morning? Soon. Me too. We're about 15 days away from spring. We're looking at uh, above normal temperatures this week, slightly. Two degrees, our normal is one. <laughs> so we are going to hit two on Friday and then Saturday back down to minus one. So we're below seasonal until then. We do have that light snow on the way that Tom and I are mentioning today and into tomorrow. We do have a risk of some flurry activity for Friday and into Saturday. But all in all, the weekend does not look too bad. And then middle of next week, we've got more snow on the way. Well, we do warm up. It is not a significant warm up. We're going to warm up closer to where we should be for this time of year by the end of the week. We do have snow on the way for today and into tomorrow. Minus six, feeling like minus 11 for Wednesday. Thursday, minus four. And then Friday, two degrees. That's where we should be. Saturday, we drop back down to minus one. Keep in mind, we do have a little bit of snow in the forecast for Friday and into Saturday. But all in all, the weekend does not look bad throughout the GTA. Temperatures a little on the cool side. It's Tuesday. It's March the 4th. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I was just cruising Twitter and I noticed that Natalie Thomas, our good friend Natalie Thomas, yes, uh -huh. she works on the weekends. Nope. She tweeted us, no word of a lie, I actually heard a bird chirping outside my window this morning. Hmm. First sign I have seen or heard of spring. Well, if it's a robin, then we're really talking. Yeah, but I don't it, know. I'll have to ask her what kind of bird. Who knows? 
<laughs> like bird. Well, spring is on the way, whether we believe it or not. 15 days away, but with our temperatures this morning, Kevin, it certainly does not feel like spring. Thanks, Kevin. Kevin, you're practicing your, uh, <laughs> your royal wave. Two to five centimeters in and around the cottage country area. Downtown core, we're looking at a trace to a centimeter, enough to make the road slick later on this afternoon. This is going to be more so of an evening event and into tomorrow morning. We'll talk about our temperatures, the potential for a warm-up in just a moment. But first, Tom, what's the scene on the roads? We get close to seasonal. That's good news. We do have that snow on the way today and into tomorrow. A few scattered flurries throughout the day tomorrow. Thursday, similar story, but a little bit more sunshine. Friday, again, risk of a few flurries. Saturday, minus one, again, risk of a few flurries. Just a series of small systems moving through. But our temperatures on Friday bumping up to two degrees. That's where we should be. Cold temperatures seem to be the norm these days, don't they? Well, we do have good news. By the end of the week, we are going to be warming up. We're going to see daytime highs above the freezing mark. With that, we're only 15 days away until spring. Ah, our spring outlook was released last night, and we're going to be running it this morning after 9 a.m. So Chris Scott is going to give us all the nitty-gritty details, let us know exactly what to expect throughout the GTA. I've got more of our short-term forecast where we are going to be seeing some snow. It's not going to be incredible amounts of snow. It's going to be light at best, but we all know what 2 to 5 centimeters can do to our roads, make them very slick. So this is going to be happening uh, through the day today and into tomorrow morning. Higher elevations up towards cottage country, 2 to 5 centimeters meters downtown core we're looking at trace to a couple of centimeters again enough to make the roads a little slippery classic winter is what we've been experiencing the record winter of days uh, lower than minus 18 uh, was back in 76 77 they had 22 days uh, we have had 14 days so far this winter last winter we only picked up one day so if you thought that this winter was colder than last year you were correct Continuous snow cover, 86 days and counting. We have not seen grass since December the 9th through the city of Toronto. Uh, we broke the record from 81 days back in the winter of 77, 78. In terms of our precipitation, our high temperature, we hit an average of about minus 3.3. Uh, what it should be is about uh, zero. Rainfall, 75 millimeters. That's what we picked up. We should have hit about 83 millimeters. That's the average, so below average rainfall. And the snowfall, 101 centimeters, and the average is 78. So we picked up more snow. Our temperatures were colder, but we also had less rain. It's kind of the good with the bad, right? Spring outlook, like I was mentioning after 9 a.m., Chris Scott's going to have all the details. Here's Tom now with an update on traffic. Hi there, good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's the 4th of March. It's Pancake Tuesday. We released our spring outlook yesterday. Yep. It's a good day today, Tom. It is a good day. Think warm maple, maple syrup. syrup. Think mm. that. It just sort of, oh, that's such a yummy. nice feeling. Yummy. Yeah, so pancakes for, I just phoned my granddaughter, said I'm having pancakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, she I can said, hear on the said, phone being Papa. like, pancakes, pancakes. <laughs> so sweet. That's going to be fun. Well, we released our spring outlook last night. It's looking okay. We are going to be rerunning it today after 9 o'clock. We joined Kevin Yard. He is in Kitchener, Ontario, this morning. And Kevin, you are probably looking forward to spring more than anyone. I could only imagine. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kevin. We actually, Tom and I call in advance and get people to, you know, give Kevin some coffee because we feel bad for him. We're sitting here in a warm studio. <laughs> no, we don't actually do that. Two to five centimeters of snow through some areas throughout the day today and into tonight. It is going to make roads pretty slick around cottage country. Through the GTA, we're looking at closer to one to two centimeters, if that. We do have a warm-up on the way in the long range. Details just ahead. First, here's Tom. Right now. Well, it doesn't look too bad, if you don't mind cool temperatures. We are going to stay cold for the remainder of the week, but by the end of the week, we warm up. We look at two degrees for Friday, minus one for Saturday. We do have a slight risk of a few isolated flurries, both Friday and Saturday. But it looks as though we're going to stay away from any decent kind of snow until the beginning of next week. But look at our temperatures. We are very close to our seasonal average, which is around one for this time of year. It's not that slight compared to yesterday where it felt like the minus 20s. Minus 6 tomorrow, a little bit of snow on the way today and into tomorrow. And then for Thursday, we're looking at minus 4. By Friday, 2 degrees. There's that slight warm-up Tom was just mentioning. We do, however, have a risk of a few flurries for Friday and Saturday.
But all in all, the weekend looks great throughout the GTA. Temperatures are going to be below our seasonal average. We should be closer to one, two degrees for this time of year, but it is still going to be quite pleasant. Go to the weather. Hi there, good morning. It's Tuesday, it's the 4th of March. Big news here at the Weather Network. Pancakes? No. Tuesday? No, that's not it. Oh. Spring Outlook. Oh, Spring Outlook. Of course it is. Pancakes. Of course. Well, this pancake t Tuesday. I know, but that, you, that's important. I think we're warm... not a cooking show. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> not right now. But it'll make your weather in your world better if you have one. I suppose, anyway. yes. Yeah, the, long, the spring forecast. Yes, the spring outlook. It's going to be coming up in 20 minutes, so do not go anywhere. Do not adjust the dial. You will see stuff that you want to see and maybe some stuff that you don't yeah. want to see. Don't, look at, don't look at the stuff you don't want to see. Just close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, we join Kevin Arities briefly inside. Uh, he's in Kitchener right now and Kevin you just had to come out from the cold and I do not blame you thanks Kevin all right well we do have a little bit more snow on the way so if you're an avid skier you're really going to love the two to five centimeters that's going to hit and through ski country uh, downtown Toronto we're looking close to a trace possibly a centimeter or two throughout the day today so enough to make the roads a little slick speaking of roads Tom how's it going on the highways a little bit of a warm-up by the end of the week. It's going to be a gradual warm-up, so we're looking at minus 6 for tomorrow, feeling like minus 11. By Thursday, we're at minus 4, again, feeling like minus 10, but Friday, 2 degrees. little tiny bit of a wind chill. We could see a few isolated flurries, but for the most part, that is where we should be for this time of year. And then Friday and into Saturday, we could see a few isolated flurries. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday, it's the 4th of March. Our spring outlook has been released. We're going yep. to be talking about that more so after 9 o'clock. Yes. It looks okay for the GTA. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give all the details away. Yeah, it's uh, it's sort of, um, uh, no, I would guess, normal. More normal than crazy. But it's than gonna, this winter. <laughs> but unfortunately, th this month might be a little chilly. Yeah, and poor Kevin. He's been braving the elements every single day. We throw him out there. But he does such a wonderful job, and he looks great doing it. Don't you, Kevin? Just super. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we do have snow on the way. It is not substantial amounts, but it is enough to make the roads a little slick this afternoon. Two to five centimeters areas north of the city through Newmarket, Uxbridge, all the way up towards Barrie and through Aurelia. Uh, along the lakeshore, we're not going to be seeing too much in the way of snow. We're seeing kind of a trace to a couple of centimeters. Toronto through Oakville, down towards Hamilton and through St. Catharines in the Niagara region. Kitchener, Waterloo, you're kind of on the cusp of this, so you could see a little bit of lake enhancement. Keep in mind the lakes are pretty much frozen uh, in that area with those northwesterly winds, so it may not be too bad but again just take it easy if you do find yourself driving in some snow today speaking of the roads and driving tom what's going on on the highways i hope <laughs> it is a warm-up yes absolutely we are going to still stay pretty cold for the next couple of days we're looking at minus six for tomorrow feeling closer to minus 11 and then we've got minus four for thursday two degrees for friday Saturday, Sunday, we're looking at minus one to minus three. We do have some flurries in the forecast, so keep that in mind for the weekend. But yeah, everybody's going to love that warm up because it is just going to start to feel like spring. It's only 15 days away. So make sure you stay with us because we're talking about our spring outlook all day long. And for the GTA, I think you're going to like it. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Tom. Okay, well, we are going to be staying kind of cool for the next couple of days, but we do warm up. That is the good news. The spring is officially 15 days away. We're looking at minus 6 for tomorrow, feeling like minus 11 when you factor in the wind, minus 4 for Thursday, and then Friday, yay, that is our big warm-up. We're looking at 2 degrees. I know it's not a huge warm-up, but that's close to where we should be for this time of year, and it's much better than what we have been dealing with. Saturday, Sunday look pretty good. We are going to be seeing that risk of a few isolated flurries Friday and into Saturday, but we're also going to be seeing some sunshine. So overall, throughout the weekend and the GTA looks pretty good with close to seasonal temperatures. Go to theweathernetwork.com. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Tuesday, it's the 4th of March. I'm Emily Vukovic. Temperatures are so cold, this video might help to warm you up. Let's go to Brazil. Oh yes, warm, very warm. It's fun, Rio de Janeiro, Carnival happening right now. Uh, one of our writers is actually there checking out the scenes. Everybody's got shorts and t-shirts on, flip-flops. How jealous are you? <laughs> I'm pretty jealous. Because in comparison, we were sitting at minus 12 yesterday through the city of Toronto. It was 
Now we do have a little bit of snow on the way today. We've got this trough that's going to be moving through the area. Snow picking up this morning and into the afternoon. By the overnight, it moves out. But then throughout the day tomorrow, we do have the risk of a few isolated flurries. Uh, snowfall totals, they're not incredibly impressive, but you and I both know that two to five centimeters can make the roads pretty slick, especially when it's this cold. So we're looking at two to five centimeters for areas north of the city, uh, Markham through Uxbridge, uh, up towards Barrie and in through Aurelia, anywhere in between. That's where we're going to be seeing that kind of two to five centimeter range. South along the lake from Toronto through uh, Hamilton and through Oakville, even up towards Mississauga, Oshawa kind of on the cusp of this. It's going to be kind of trace amounts. This afternoon, we're going to see a daytime high of minus 8. Field forecast, the good news is that we actually start to warm up just a bit. We're looking at minus 6 for tomorrow. It's a gradual warm-up. Minus 4 for Thursday. By Friday, we actually bump above the freezing mark. We're going to hit 2 degrees. That's kind of where we should be for this time of year. That's our seasonal average. We are going to be seeing some sunshine, but we do have the risk Friday into Saturday of seeing a little bit more snow. Generally speaking, it is going to be a very pleasant weekend. We're going to be seeing temperatures around minus 1 to minus 3 on Sunday. Feeling a little colder when you factor in the wind chill, but for the most part, we are going to be seeing sunshine throughout the GTA over the weekend. Oh, that sinking feeling. Coming up, dealing with winter's latest wallop in Pennsylvania. Flakes and flurries. It's also quite cold today, but we are going to see a little bit of snow. Not incredible amounts, but enough to make the roads a little slick. During the week, we are going to make that slow crawl to warmth. Now, it's not going to be incredibly warm, but we are going to be hitting above the freezing mark. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 4th of March. We've been talking about cold temperatures and snow. Spring is 15 days away. We're also going to be talking about your spring outlook in just a few moments. Kevin Yard has been joining us all morning long through Kitchener, Ontario. And Kevin, I think the general consensus is that people aren't minding this winter, but they are looking forward to <laughs> spring, correct? I agree, Kevin. I agree. <laughs> if you see snow and cold temperatures and ice, winter is still here. We do have a little bit of snow on the way throughout the day today. It is not substantial, like I was mentioning. It's literally just a trace to a few centimeters throughout much of the GTA in southern Ontario. These are the amounts. We're looking at about two to five centimeters north of the city, New Market through Uxbridge, up towards Barrie and in through Aurelia. Five centimeters quite likely, but down towards the GTA, just along the lake shore, Toronto through Oakville and Hamilton, uh, down towards Grimsby and in through St. Catharines. All those areas we're looking at kind of trace amounts this afternoon we're going to see a daytime high of minus eight feet so bundle up you'll need to think layers for the remainder of the week but by the end of the week that's when things start to look up we're going to see minus six tomorrow minus four for thursday on friday and saturday we do have the risk of seeing a few isolated flurries but again it's really just kind of week system after week system after week system moving through the gta we're warming up we're going to see a daytime high of two degrees and then for saturday looks great a daytime high of minus one well, it's all about the spring outlook on social media today. Hoping for a forecast of good gardening weather with the spring outlook. Fingers crossed. Me too. Chris was all ready to check out the spring outlook with Chris Scott. Big bowl of popcorn. And the poor groundhog wanted for fraud. He tried his best, didn't he? <laughs> Hopefully it's better than the Leafs are playing tonight. Hashtag TWN Spring. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, spring, I want it and I want it now. I am tired of snow. I really don't think you're alone on that one. And last time we had a colder winter in Toronto was 20 years ago. Come on, spring. Well, it's all about the spring outlook on social media today. Hoping for a forecast of good gardening weather with the spring outlook. Fingers crossed. Me too. Chris was all ready to check out the spring outlook with Chris Scott. Big bowl of popcorn. And the poor groundhog wanted for fraud. He tried his best, didn't he? <laughs> Hopefully it's better than the Leafs are playing tonight. Hashtag TWN Spring. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, spring, I want it and I want it now. I am tired of snow. I really don't think you're alone on that one. And last time we had a colder winter in Toronto was 20 years ago. Come on, Spring. Well, it's all about the spring outlook on social media today. 
Hoping for a forecast of good gardening weather with the spring outlook. Fingers crossed, me too. Chris was all ready to check out the spring outlook with Chris Scott, big bowl of popcorn. And the poor groundhog wanted for fraud. He tried his best, didn't he? <laughs> Hopefully it's better than the Leafs are playing tonight. Hashtag TWN Spring. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, spring, I want it and I want it now. I am tired of snow. I really don't think you're alone on that one. And last time we had a colder winter in Toronto was 20 years ago. Come on, spring.